My name is Christian Yaros. I'm a member of the REST and Cloud Solutions Hub. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud. ADWC provides you a simplistic way to develop faster business insights. Let's explore just a few of the business advantages that ADWC can help you gain. Let's begin with ADWC's rapid provisioning and scaling. To enter the ADWC console, click Menu in the top left and select Autonomous Data Warehouse. A data warehouse is created with only a few pieces of information. To create an autonomous data warehouse, hit the button in the top left. All you need to provide is your display name and a database name, the number of OCPUs, and the number of terabytes needed, and an administrative password. You also have the option to bring your own license. Once you're done, hit Create Autonomous Data Warehouse and your autonomous data warehouse will be provisioned in anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. The Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud also gives you unparalleled flexibility through rapid scaling of CPUs and storage. To scale your ADWC instance, go into your console and select Scale Up Down. In this demo, let's scale the instance to three CPUs. Once you've selected the number of CPUs in storage, hit update. In a matter of seconds, our ADWC instance is three times as powerful. And for many companies, the ability to quickly scale is extremely beneficial. Uh, if you need more power storage, or if you just want to cut back and save money during an off season, all you have to do is scale up and scale down in this console. It's pretty easy. And now if you're wondering about the mundane but absolutely necessary things like backup, security, tuning, and there's no need to worry because Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud does this all on its own and it provides useful monitoring tools for administrators of all skill levels. Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud also natively integrates with object storage. To go to object storage, click menu in the top left and select object storage. Object storage is a cost-effective approach at storing large amounts of data. All kinds of data can reside in object storage and it can be accessed through your autonomous data warehouse cloud. Here I'm helping an avocado business called El Caro. So I'm going to select the bucket titled El Caro. I've created this object storage bucket containing their historical crop yield data. And to interact with this data, you can use SQL Developer. So by using their crop yield data in object storage and connecting to the ADWC instance, in SQL Developer, I can copy data over to the data warehouse to exist internally. The DBMS Cloud API offers useful functions for interacting with ADWC and object storage. Elcar was looking for ways to develop useful business insights from all their farming data collected over the years. By leveraging the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud and data visualization tools, Elcaro can quickly gain insights on the variables that can increase crop yield and what their predicted crop yield 2018 will be. In this demo, I will be using Data Visualization Desktop. If you would like more features and an even better overall experience, the Oracle Analytics Cloud also natively integrates with ADWC. Let's go to Data Visualization Desktop. When Elcaro is ready to report their findings, they can use Oracle's data visualization tools to develop and share meaningful storyboards like this one. Here we can see historical crop yields and what is predicted for the current year. It seems like 2018 will have a lower crop yield than previous years. Let's see if we can figure out how to solve this problem and turn things around for Elcaro. In the next graph, I used Oracle's data visualization tools to develop a data model. This data model is created by the CART numeric training and it targets yield factor, which can further be inspected to see which factors give Elcaro the best crop yield. By using our data model, I see that water capacity greater than 0.4% and organic matter greater than 3.54% proved to be highly beneficial to crop yield. Now that we know the, what the model suggests, let's determine whether it's true or not. Taking organic matter and water capacity into account, this plot shows darker colors for the farms with the higher crop yields and lighter colors for the farms with lower crop yields. As you can see, the darker, higher crop yields are in the top right of the graph, indicating that higher levels of organic matter and water capacity do in fact increase crop yield. Now that Elcaro knows what to focus on, they can easily pinpoint areas that need assistance in these factors. By creating graphs, they can drill down on organic matter to see which sites are suboptimal 
in terms of their organic matter percent. They can also create maps to locate regions that have lower water capacity. This information will prove to be highly valuable for, for El Caro as they begin to roll out personalized service plans to their farms across their regions. In conclusion, businesses will no longer need to spend precious time worrying about data recovery, security, backups, performance, tuning, and more. With the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud's self-driving features, businesses will be able to then prioritize developing faster business insights. Thank you for taking the time to explore the Autonomous Data Warehouse Cloud.